Hi guys, I'm recording my first video for you um, as we start doing some distance learning, our remote learning, and I'm going to read a story to you. But I want to first tell you that I miss you all. I can't wait to see you. I was hoping you would be in the classroom with me all week. Um, but we're going to make the best of it so that everyone stays safe and healthy and has a really Merry Christmas. So today is Tuesday, and as you can see, I brought a Christmas tree into our classroom, and I have it right near our calendar, and I don't want you to think I forgot about taking care of our calendar and our Christmas countdown. So I want to show you that today, that I'm re when I'm recording this video, I got to see a lot of mommies and daddies today. You picked up a lot of materials for kids to be doing learning at home, and thank you for that. Today, I'm going to put a number 15 on the calendar because it's December 15th. Um, I haven't seen you since December 11th because we had a weekend and then we closed school for a little while. So today is December 15th. We're going to have time together each day. I'm going to record videos every day. I'm going to read stories every day. And if we're able to, we'll connect on the computer each day too. Um, because today is December 15th, I know you want to know how far down Santa has moved on the chimney. And I counted how many more days until Christmas. And just so you know, our Christmas countdown continues even if you're doing school at home. And Santa's countdown shows us that there's 10 more days until Christmas. So we have lots to do before Christmas comes. We have lots of stories to read. Um, I have a whole collection of gingerbread stories. I sent this one to your mommies and daddies emails um, to read. If you didn't get a chance to read it, I might record a video of myself reading it. But I want you to know that the gingerbread story is one of those stories that authors and illustrators have written for a long time, kind of like uh, Chicken Little stories. There's lots of different versions. So we're going to read a bunch of different versions of the gingerbread man. And then we're going to hear a story about the gingerbread baby. And I don't know if you knew, but the gingerbread boy had a sister. And this is the gingerbread girl. And the gingerbread bear. And we even have the gingerbread cowboy. So I have lots of stories uh, that I want to read to you. I want to read some Santa stories to you too, some Christmas stories. Um, but before I go today, today was going to be a quick video because I want to talk to you about something we have to do right now just for a little while, I hope. It's called distance learning. What is it? Sometimes when schools are closed, I need to do something called distance learning. And that's what we're going to do right now. While you're at home and I'm at school, I'm going to teach to you while we're far away from each other. Distance learning means that I will do my learning and schoolwork at home. I won't go to my school. There are many ways to do distance learning. Some teachers will send home packets, binders, and assignments on paper, and that's what I sent home with mommies and daddies today. I can use pencils, pens, markers, and I put a little uh, goodie bag together with materials that has scissors and glue bottles and glue sticks and bingo dabbers and markers and crayons, and there's lots of stuff in there for you to use. Even your Play-Doh came home from the busy box. Some teachers will teach online. That means I will get my schoolwork on a computer, laptop, or phone, and I am gonna be sending stuff to you, just like this video on the computer, and you get to watch it. I might even get to talk to my teacher on the phone or see them on video. This might be through Google Hangouts, Google Meets, Zoom, FaceTime, and other programs that we'll use for video chatting, and we're gonna give that a try tomorrow. My family or an adult will help me figure out how to do my work during distance learning. And I know some of you have your mommies and daddies at home. Some of you have aunts and uncles. Some of you have grandmas and grandpas. You're so lucky to have such great families that take good care of you and help you do your schoolwork, even when you're at home. Distance learning is different. 
I've never done it before, and I don't think you have. I think this is probably a first. Some of you have big brothers and big sisters that had to do it last year, but I think for you this might be your first time. And we're going to make it the best we can. I can try my best, and that will make my parents and teachers proud of me. And that's the truth. It's very important that I try to cooperate with the adult who's helping me with distance learning. This is new for my whole family, and they're all doing their best to figure it out. I can try to be helpful by cooperating. My teachers aren't sure how long distance learning will last, but they will tell me when it's time to come back to the school building, and that I can't wait to tell you when you can come back. When distance learning is done, I will get back to school. I'll get back to my school building. It will be so much fun to see my teachers and my friends. And that's it. So that's our first video for distance learning. I'm going to send that to your mommy's and daddy's computers in a little while. And we'll meet again on our computer tomorrow. Bye, guys. I miss you already. I'm sorry we have to do at-home learning for a little while. I don't think it's going to last very long. But I'll keep track of our calendar. We'll do some of that on video together. Bye, guys.